Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? You're watching The Phantom. So, I'm back again with another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. I'll be continuing this series up in the continuation and won't be disturbing the chart going on. So, you know, we met Packy in the last episode and we stole the shipment of meds from a warehouse. All right, Francis. Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McCreary now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in a place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. All right. So, Packy came out to be the brother of Francis. They're both McCreary's. And we didn't know about that. All right. So, this mansion, this house is of you know who's mm, yeah. alright I'm um, going to buy some weapons this is it thank you just look at this Chinatown. I do not often like these Chinatowns, but yeah, they did a great job in this game. Hey, be cool, all right? Let me fill up these shotgun magazine. Okay, I cannot take more ammo than that. Let me take some rounds of this too. See you later. All right, so I've got some weapons. Now let us quickly move to the move to the interview. The mark in the map with the, the symbol of Thai is the place where we have the interview. Let us quickly head out. The place isn't far. Okay, over here. This is the building to my left. I'm a bit scared. Don't know what it is. Final interview. Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in, I'll buzz you through. Alright, so the receptionist has called us in. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Um, this building is. Beautiful. I mean, this game came out in 2008. And just look at the work. Go 
Goldberg line arranged. Mr. Bellick, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Okay. Follow the receptionist to Goldberg's office. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in okay. his way. I always so she's taking us interviews. with her. He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't bite. <laughs> Hello, Nico. Oh, what? What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. So, you're the sort of man who doesn't wait to get told what to do. A guy who looks at the world, sees problems, and tries to fix them? Sure. My problem is that people don't notice the decay in society. They leave the decay alone, and soon it's too late, so you have to pull the whole tooth. Who doesn't even yeah. know what's coming up? I'm the guy who goes around shaking people. For people, read society, read City Hall. I shake them, and I say floss. Get rid of the rotting flesh stuck in your teeth. Prevent decay. Mouthwash, you hear me? There's this cop. Good cop, but he thinks he's above the law. He's not. You wanna know why? Because the law is clear. I'm gonna crush him into dust. No one is above my judgment. You understand me? Okay. He's talking about Francis. Here at GLNS, we're pushing things to the limit. We're on the front line, young man. A man I was recently with in this office, in this very room, was murdered. You gotta fight for what is just in this world. You do. Anyway, give me an example of some time where you've worked as part of a team. I work alone. All right. You're standing. It's time. It's a power play. I like it. You gotta say something. Whoa, 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 hold on a second there, friend. We're lawyers. We don't need guns. Strong move, though. I gotta say, I like that style. I'm all about the Second Amendment. Guns don't... Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if okay. you never hurt anyone. So these are the files. I've retrieved it. Alright, now we gotta kill him. Man. Nikolai, this isn't right. I I'm helping people. <laughs> Alright. You didn't see anything, okay? Okay, holy crap. The security is here. We gotta clean the shit up. Stay down I'm there. sorry. Come on. Man. You want to die? Don't move. Okay. Call. Let us quickly quickly move out. Alright, there is the exit. Almost forgot. Holy crap. The exit is locked. We gotta run downwards to the basement. Okay, I got the first aid kit.
those bullets all over. And there is no car around. Oh, I cannot escape the place. Okay, this is the tunnel. Holy shit. Oh, thank god. Man. I got an amazing car. There's one. Look at the truck. And there's a lot of backup as I arrived. Shit, shit, shit. And these creeps. They don't care about the civilians. They'll kill another four guys to kill one. Man, this car is crazy. It's a sports car. Holy shit. Okay, I I think I've almost escaped the area. And the clearance is near. Okay, I'll be taking my car up in this in this area. Let us get inside. Hey, watch it now. Man, it was crazy. Thank God we have made it too. Okay. Let us take the files to Francis now. Alright. We are out of here. Man, but let me change my car first. Look at the marks of wounds on the back of Nico. These new benefits, I don't understand them. I gotta break the glass. Look, everyone saw the crime. <laughs> this is the best SUV. I'll say. Okay, over to the left. So, guys, we are going to Francis. We have the files, we have taken out Goldberg and the entire police was behind us. But it's okay, we lost him and we'll be getting our amount. Okay, where's the Police station. Just here, I'll be parking up. Here are the files. Great! Peace at last! I feel cleansed! You silenced Goldberg too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa! Music to my ears! A weight has been lifted! Here's your payment! <laughs> Alright. So, we have got... thousand bucks. And I'm again going to buy some weapons and protection as well because I'm out of my armor man do you understand the link between the Francis and Patrick Patrick is Becky they both are brothers and I've heard that Becky is a is the character in Grand Theft Auto 5 2? I don't know. Nico said it all started to make sense 
but I I don't I don't really know what it is. Maybe in the upcoming story we'll be figuring it out. the gun shop all right I have taken the armor and few rounds of shotgun because shotgun is the is the major gun I use and again I am heading to the Francis let me get rid of this Francis first and I don't think he's a good guy Good guy in the sense that this is a police officer and <laughs> police can never be the friends with with a cold killer like us. Let us get inside. Hollow Knights. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. Uh, love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. <laughs> Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen. I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? Exactly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty is sin. He is sin. <sighs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two Gs. Two? You mean five. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vox site and call me. Five G's. Go to the projects in East Holland. Okay, so there's a kind of a gangster who supplies drug and is in all of the unusual stuff, illegal weaponries and all. So Francis wants us to take him down. Nico said it's your work. Why should I care about that? But anyways, it's our job, it's our work, we are getting paid. Let us quickly head towards the towards those projects. To the right.
this mission is gonna be full of action because we already know that we are not going for that one guy there will be a bunch of whole damn gangsters okay so this is the place they all in projects Look at the height. I'm outside the project. Where is he? He should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Okay. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. <laughs> Take down clearance. Okay. So, I'll be, I'll be walking up to the stairs and not taking much attention of these guys. I feel these guys gonna shoot at me and I'll be putting my profile low. Look at all this crowd. Each one of them have a pistol in their pockets. Gotta be real careful. Listen up, yo. Get out of here. Man. Look. He warned us. Should I get into you? Shit, I wouldn't recommend going up there. It ain't gonna end well for you. Fuck you. Then everyone was warning us not to get up onto that onto this floor. But we are almost here. Man, I gotta take him out. I gotta take him out. I know. Clarence told me to dead any fool who don't belong. <laughs> My health, man. We got the drop on you, gangster. I don't have the health and the armor as well. I gotta be careful now. This ain't no fucking movie. Okay, Clarence is running upwards. This place is full of them. You're glad you messed with me. Look at the waves shooting at us, hiding from that from that spot. What is it? I think I should store these monologues. They don't have much of a range. I gotta take him out with the gun only. Stay right there and shut up. You surrounded devil! 300 Sorry, 
Alright. Any worse. It's your square, sir. Put away the gun. Where my boy is at? Ah! It's going to get ugly. The space is clear right now. Let us move upwards. Upstairs. Let me check it out first. I believe there is another guy waiting for us. Hiding in the shadows. Okay. Area cleared. Let us move upwards. Holy crap. Okay. This is the guy. This is his name that's clearance. Okay. Area cleared. There is the... <laughs> he was about to run. Let me take this. First aid kit. Alright. I got this one! Stand enough! I need some help up in this bitch! Okay. Let me take him out. Holy crap, holy crap. Man, they were almost going to take me out. You gotta be real careful. Okay. Who's upstairs? is hiding behind that generator yo 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 man you got me chill i surrender you wouldn't kill an unarmed man would you this isn't my choice the police want you dead yo it's that rat cop mccrary ain't it you don't like a younger brother with ambition tell you what i'll reform i get out the game get a, a ged or some shit Make something of my life. McCreary gonna think I'm dead. Word. Come on, boss. Don't kill me, boss. I'm <laughs> too young to die. Please. Please. Alright. I'm not gonna kill him. That's right. We the same, me and you. Look out for each other. <laughs> you the boss, though, man. You the boss of me. Get out of here. I see you again. You wish I had killed you now. Okay. Very well. We are working for the police and... I don't know what he's looking out for. Never takes our back. I'm gonna escape this place. Okay. Maybe I'll be climbing up from here. Yeah, this would be better. They almost start to fire in the holy shit. Okay, I'll be stealing his car. Okay, we'll escape the area. Now just let it. Get rid of these cops. All right. So we have escaped the police. Now we are heading back to the safe house. So, what are your views for today's episode? 
I'll really be looking for your comments below. You don't have to worry about Clarence anymore. You did a good thing, Nico. That boy was mean. He had a tongue on him, too. Always talking his way out of court, willing to compromise anyone to get out of trouble. Thank God for real justice. Okay, so Francis think that the guy is dead, the clearance is dead, but we have forgiven him. He says he'll be a better guy now. So this is it for today guys. I hope you did enjoy the gameplay. I'll be definitely seeing you in the next one. Till then, have a good life. Bye.